everyone welcome back to my youtube channel again so guys if you're watching this please don't forget po to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and please don't forget po to hit the bell notification para updated po kayo sa aking future videos and guys don't forget po to share para din po makita po ng iba and magkaroon po sila ng information if they needed to seek information and um because of your support maraming maraming salamat po umabot na po tayo ng 12,800 subscribers and i can't wait po manifest ko po naaabot po tayo ng 100,000 subscribers wala pong imposible kapag tayo po ay nagma-manifest and uh we know work hard po natin so guys yung pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is the cost of uh loss of passport kumbaga mag-renew kayo ng inyong passport and then nawala niyo yung passport ninyo. So, meron po tayong dalawang klaseng uh, processing. Meron po tayong tinatawag na regular processing at the same time, expedited processing. So, this time guys, yung pag-uusapan natin is, um, isahin ko na lang din po sa isang video, the cost of loss of passport at the same time, requirements po ng loss of passport. So, let's proceed po for the cost muna. So, the cost of... Um, Loss of passport for regular processing is, yung passport is 1,000. Ma'am, bakit 1,000? 950 lang naman po yan. 1,000 is because 950 per passport, 50 pesos naman din po for convenience fee. Tapos, meron po tayong tinatawag na 350 na penalty kasi nga nawala nyo yung passport ninyo. So, a total of 1,350 so, yan po yung regular processing which is 14 to 15 business days. And of course, mag-expect po kayo na medyo matagalan kasi sa Pilipinas naman talaga ay hindi po tayo makaka, anong tawag nito? Dali-dali po na yung expected date na binibigay sa kanila ay makukuha ka agad. May iba naman, especially main office ay binibigay naman ka agad. Sometimes advance pa. So, then let's proceed to expedite or tinatawag natin yung rush processing which is um, 7 business working days. Yung rush processing naman guys ay 1,250. Ma'am, bakit 1,250? 1,200 for passport, 50 pesos naman for convenience fee. Tapos meron tayong tinatawag na 350 for penalty. A total of 1,600. Yan po yung rush processing kapag si loss, at, loss of passport. And um, paalala po, even though rush, seven, um, seven business days, sometimes as what you have expected na date na i-release nila ay hindi po ganun kagad or sometimes mapa-advance pa or sometimes mapadelayed, medyo mapadelayed konti. Kasi madami pong mga applicant. Tapos, medyo slow po yung system natin. Now, um, I hope nakuha niyo po yun. Let's recap. Pag uh, regular processing po ng passport, lost of passport, a total of 1,350. Kasi one, 950 per passport, 50 pesos for convenience fee, 350 pesos for penalty. Kapag expedite naman, or tinatawag natin rush, ay total of 1,600. Kasi, 1,200 for passport, 50 pesos for convenience fee, and 350 pesos naman din po yung penalty. And that's your rush. And uh, that's 7 business working days. Now, let's proceed naman po sa requirements. Now, my dalawang classing loss of passport. First is, let's proceed with the loss of passport. At the same time, um, Ano pa? Valid pa siya. Loss of passport at the same time, valid pa siya. Kasi meron ding loss of passport at the same time, lost na siya. I mean, I mean hindi siya lost. Uh, expired na siya. So, let's proceed for the first one. The first one is the loss of passport at the same time, valid pa siya. Ano yung requirements? So, first, of course, you have to have confirm online appointment. Pinaka-importante po sa lahat ay ang confirm online appointment kasi hindi po kayo papasok ni DFA kapag wala kayong confirm online appointment. Pangalawa po ay kailangan ninyo magdala ng PSA birth certificate. I'm not really sure pero dala lang po kayo ng PSA birth certificate. Tapos pangatlo ay kailangan ninyo ng valid ID. Of course, kailangan ninyo ng valid ID. Then, 
Pang-apat ay kailangan ninyo ng police report. Ma'am, kung bakit kailangan pa namin ng police report? Kasi nga po, si, loss of, si passport na nawala ninyo ay still valid ba? Kailangan ninyo ng police report. Pang-lima naman ay kailangan ninyo ng affidavit of lost. Ma'am, saan po nakukuha si affidavit of lost? Sa ano po, sa attorney po siya. Pwede po sa private, pwede naman din po sa public or tinatawag nating PAO, Public Attorney's Office. Then, yung next naman is, lost of passport at the same time, expired na si passport. Ano yung requirements? First, expire, uh, confirm online appointment. Pangalawa, um, PSA birth certificate. Alam nyo, um, dala lang po kayo ng PSA birth certificate kasi sometimes, yung DFA officer, iba-iba yung uh, ano nila, uh, anong tawag nito? Um, I don't know, basta iba-iba. Kasi yung iba, tumatanggap ng NSO, sometimes yung iba hindi, parang ganyan. And then, next naman, third one is, kailangan nyo magdala ng valid ID. Of course, primary valid ID. Then, pang-apat is, kailangan nyo ng affidavit of lost. Hindi nyo na kailangan ng police report. You know why? Kasi, yung passport na nawala ninyo ay expired na. Kaya hindi nyo na kailangan ng police report. So, yung need nyo lang is affidavit of lost. Now, even though si passport ay expired or not expired, the cost is still the same. Kung gusto nyo ng regular processing or gusto nyo ng rush processing. So, um, yun lang po. And I hope um, nakatulong po ito sa inyo. Kasi madami pong nagtatanong how much is the cost of the loss of passport now expired or not expired and then ano po yung mga kailangan naming dalhin para pag-file ng renewal of loss of passport so yun lang po paalala kapag nag-loss po pag nawala po yung passport ninyo please wag po kayong mag-apply as new applicant you know why yung consequences po is very difficult kapag po na suspended yung application niyo it takes 3 to one year bago po ang clearing. And then, aside from the clearing, kailangan nyo pong mag-submit ng madaming documents na hinihingi ni DFA. And madami pong pending cases na ganyan sa ngayon, yung suspended applicant. And then, yung nakakaawa pa is, na suspended yung application nila, tapos, meron na silang, um, ang tawag nito, passport na lang yung hinihintay nila. Lilipad na sila ng ibang bansa. Yan po yung pinakamahirap sa lahat. And um, yung pinakamahirap din po is hindi nyo pwede madaliin sa DFA. Wala po tayong magagawa dyan kapag suspended. And the hardest, hardest part po is kapag mag-reach out kayo through telephone or through cellphone or number nila, hotline number nila, ay hindi po sila sumasagot. I don't know why. So, that's it guys. And if you have some questions, please, Leave your comment down below and I will try to answer as much as I can. Kapag hindi po ako nakapag, nakasagot sa inyong mga katanungan, it means po na I am busy, I have life too. And then, um, kapag ano naman, can look for us in Okuka's Travel and Tours. In our Facebook page, we have 4,000 followers. And um, if you need assistance, please look for us in Okuka's Travel and Tours. Thank you. Goodbye!